Something I haven't talked about on this channel yet is the CW, Flareoverse, The Flash, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl. I There's just so much of it, and I haven't had a chance to talk about it. I would love to do a full review of each episode that comes out for each show, but there's just so much, and we got Flash and Legends on at the same night. You just can't keep up. There's just so much going on. But today, there's something I did want to talk about in this universe. That is something we've known for a while, we've heard this was coming, that is the musical crossover of Supergirl and The Flash. We got our first look at it the other day. Looks fun, looks really interesting, really cool. Something I never thought they'd do on TV. You go back to this old Batman cartoon. It's not an old Batman cartoon, but it's called Batman Brave and the Bold. you probably heard of it. Some of you probably haven't. But Batman the Brave and the Bold, they did this episode with the villain of Music Meister, he was played by Neil Patrick Harris at the time. What happened was, everyone started singing. And it was my favorite episode of the entire series, of the entire series of the Batman cartoon, because I'm a big fan of musicals, and I think if you can do them right in the superhero genre, if you can do them right in different genres that, you know, don't normally do them, then it really makes for a unique piece of, you know, just film. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia did it really good this year with their season premiere of uh, The Gang Turns Black. That was really well done. It was really funny. It was really... They played on the genre. They did the tropes. They did all that. And seeing it come to Supergirl and The Flash, it surprised me at first. I didn't think they'd go that route, try something like that. But I'm glad they did because it looks really funny. It looks really fun and really cool. I can't remember the actor they got playing Music Meister. Uh, he's from Glee. So that's a good start. You got the guy from Glee. That's really cool. I, I love the uh, just the vibe it got. I thought they'd be in like this modern time looking situation where the characters were just doing, doing a normal day, but they'd start singing randomly. But going based off the images and what we saw in the promo, it has this really like old 30s, 40 music vibe. I really like it. The way that uh, Grant Gustin was dressed up, he, he just looks like he's like kind of Fred Astaire looking. He's got this way about him. He's just looks like he's of the time of the 40s or the late 30s, and even the, what uh, Caro is wearing, uh, Supergirl, what's the actress's name, Melissa Benoist, what she was wearing, it just looked really good. She had this like golden dress on, it just looked incredible, and it got me excited to see this. I like the villain of Music Meister, I think he's a really interesting villain, really unique, and it's it's something that, it's an interesting power that you wouldn't expect somebody to have. But I think it's a really interesting power. It's definitely one that would get repetitive and annoying fast. So the way that they're sh setting up this crossover, it gets me excited. And everything we saw in the promos, it gets me excited. The way that they were dancing and moving. And I'm glad that we're not seeing it in this modern time. And I, I think I've heard things that it's a dream sequence for Kara or something like that. Who knows? It looks really good. It looks really interesting, really fun. I'm excited to see where it can go. And that's 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 it. That's the first time I talked about Supergirl and The Flash on this channel. And it's about a musical. So that's... There you go. Alright, that'll do it here. Go check out that episode of Batman Brave and the Bold. You're gonna love it. Neil Patrick Harris. So, yeah, hope you enjoy the episode like I hope I am too. Catch you in the next one. Good luck.